we're ugly. Welcome to Stupid Movies, episode 140. Ah, where we watch them so you don't have to. That's right. And this week we continue our Christmas extravaganza. Week two. Two. Uh, <laughs> today we watched Silent Night. Oh shit, did we not talk about what we watched? We, well, we did, but we didn't show the thing, oh, and I figured so, so we could have it. Silent Night. Uh, uh, yeah, Silent Night, right here. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, Silent Night, 2012, rated R, 94 minutes long. Yeah. Directed by Stephen Miller. Oh. oh. He had a band. Yeah, he did have a band. <laughs> <laughs> Starring Malcolm McDowell. Mm. Love him. He's fantastic. Yep. Uh, Jamie King. And Donald Logue. He reminds me a little bit of Randy Quaid in this movie. Yeah. Just with his mannerisms yeah. and facial yeah. expressions and all that. So. Yeah. All right, what was, uh, what was this about? Uh, this was about Santa <laughs> killing people. That's true. I think that's going to be our that's synopsis every week. Every week. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it was about. It was a murder mystery mm -hmm. with horror elements. Right. Uh, I wouldn't say it was a horror movie. It was more of a murder mystery. Yeah, it movie. Did, yeah. definitely had a big murder mystery. Um, to it. And it was uh, someone dressed up like Santa going around killing people. Yeah. Which we've seen how many times? Yeah, many Which, times. It never. I like that. I mean, this time of year. I mean, that's what you want. So, what did we uh, like about this movie? I love this movie. For one, I watch it every year. Uh, you love it. I do love it. Um, yeah. So, I like the Christmas vibe, despite not being having any snow. Yeah. What the fuck, man? <laughs> that's this two, weeks, two in weeks in a row. In a row. But this one at least captures the... It feels like Christmas in the movie. It does. Lights yeah. everywhere and music. And I actually didn't notice that there was no snow until you pointed it out. Right. Yeah, they did a good job. It, yeah. it wasn't obvious. You know, it's a, you know, the, the the Santa outfits and the, all the haughty girls wearing the Santa outfits. And all, mm. It's just... They hit the Christmas vibe perfectly. Yeah, it, it nailed it well. Yeah, the atmosphere is great. Uh, uh, I really like the killer. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the outfit, the mask, all of it looked really cool. It was like... If you saw that Santa on the street, you'd be worried. Yeah. But you wouldn't necessarily immediately peg it as a killer. Right. And I like that. Yeah, exactly. For, for taking something so simple and cliche and generic, you yeah. know, the staple of Christmas. Because we've seen a lot of Santa movies where it's like, you see that Santa and you're like, there is no way I would let my kid sit on his leg. <laughs> exactly. You know, right. this one was kind of like, uh, if there were enough people around, maybe. Maybe, yeah. He didn't seem like, he didn't scream I'm a killer. Right. And, he, you know, it had like a little plastic mask on with the eyes were like blacked out kind yeah. of, but you could still see him. Kind of a creepy. Which, that look. was a cool effect when I they did it. like close-ups and you could see his you eyes. See his oh. eye <laughs> yeah, no, it was it was done really well. It's simple, but highly effective if you ask me. Yeah. I dig that. Yeah. Uh, I like the throwbacks to the original movies. There yeah. were a lot of There's really. a handful. Yeah. For sure. That's uh, the first two. <coughs> I don't remember anything. Pa I really don't even remember the second one, but aside from the classic line, It's Garbage Day! Garbage Day! And there's a line where they hint, you know, the... the they kind of call that out. Call that, was that cool. out. That's awesome. This movie is for the Silent Night, Deadly Night series, what the new Halloween movie is for the Halloween series. Right. It's kind of revamped it, brought it back into the spotlight, but it had a lot of throwbacks for the fans. <coughs> oh, it got on my arm. <laughs> I am failing as a dad. No, uh, I'm not your kid. Oh, no, that's right. I didn't come from your sack. <laughs> oh my god, if you can The acting in this movie <laughs> was <laughs> was top notch. Spot on. Uh, it was really good. Yeah, everybody did a great job. A few people stand out, like the uh, uh, the Reverend dude. He yeah. didn't have a big role, but he played a creepy... Weird. I would also spooky. not let my kid sit on his lap. No, <laughs> he, he nailed that. Maybe, maybe that guy's really that. Way. I don't know who he was. No, I think that's just good acting. I Great really acting. Do. Uh, Malcolm McDowell killed oh, it as sure. always. I mean, dude could read a phone book, and I'd watch it. Right. And he'd be creepy. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. And you know, Jamie King and Donald Logue too. I mean, they're all yeah. great in their spots. I mean, not a lot of character development, but enough to where there was enough. It was all we needed. Yeah, and they they. They were believable. Yeah. So what else can you ask for? Adam's favorite thing, and I, I knew this coming in picking this movie. There was nudity, and it was good nudity. Courtney Palm. Um, mm. Yeah, she had yeah. A, a very extended, but it wasn't like in Psycho Santa. 
It wasn't. It didn't get gratuitous. It wasn't gratuitous. No, it, was it was just as long as it needed to be, and, and it made sense why it was there, and it was really good. And it was. It, it was. Yeah, I liked it a lot. Right. She's uh, and every. I think everything I've seen her in, mm-hmm. she shows that her goods often. Uh, and they're good goods. They are good goods. They're definitely good goods. Um, and I, some and of the, Rob liked mm-hmm. the amount of gore. There was quite a bit of gore and some really cool. Ki- I like how we did that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> some really good kills too. Some of it was kind of questionable CGI a little bit. But the Christmas lights, electric, it was cool. And uh, there were some really creative kills. Yeah, this. head splitting yeah. scene. Um, the rack through the rack. Rack through the rack. Um, you know, the wood chippers. There's a lot of cool kills. And they look pretty good. Yeah. And there's a lot of blood. I mean, it's not overly done. There's a lot of blood more than anything. But yeah. You get to see on screen, yeah. and we need on screen. That was a nice Christmas present for me. Yes, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to myself for picking this movie. My head's wet. Ah! Oh ah, man, ah, ah. the cinematography to this movie. It was. It was really shot it was well. Good. It was shot yeah. very well. The, I mean, everything. It's like they knew what they were doing. They, they did a good job. <laughs> There's some shots. One like a. a, a Mm. Oh. Really quick shot of uh, you to see kind of the house lit up in lights, and then you just see him show up from the side, and you see the axe, and then it cut. Yeah, that's just cool. Yeah, there that's, were some good shots. I like that. Yeah, you know, there's little quick things like that. It was, it was neat. Um, which leads into the lighting and coloring it was pretty good in this movie. Of course, you get the Christmas colors and stuff. Right. Um, but the lighting, just as a whole, was really right. good. Yeah, it was just. It hit. It goes with the flow perfectly, especially in the last act in the police station. Yeah, when the main power goes out. Yeah, yeah, and the emergency lights come on. That was really cool. That was cool. Uh, the story, <coughs> oh, the story as a whole to this was really good. Yeah, uh, I love murder mysteries, like classic film noir murder mysteries. That's my gig, fucking Humphrey Bogart era. Oh, I love that shit. And this kind of captured that. Yeah, but significantly more gore and boobs. But right. this was like a modern day murder mystery whodunit. Yep. That was really cool to me. I love that so much. Yeah, and they they don't hint at anything. Like it's not predictable at all. You have I you have no clue who the killer is. That they, no. they put a lot of red herrings into yes. it. Yes. Um, you know, so you're you're like, well, could, yeah. be, could be this guy, could be this guy. Could be. I also enjoyed the score and the music was great. Yeah, it I was mean, really good. It yeah. sounded good. And it wasn't overdone. It was a lot of it was kind of more in the background. Yep. And, and it was Christmassy. It, it was Christmassy music oh, turned into horror music. Yeah, kind of like more higher pitch and slowed down dun, a little bit. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> exactly. And it was, uh, I like that. Ah, uh, uh, okay. So what, what didn't we, we like? What didn't we like? Okay. This is, I said I love murder mysteries. And there are rules to murder mysteries. And one of the biggest rules is it has to be something you can solve. Like, you're given all the clues, and you have to be able to solve it. And this movie, you cannot no. figure out the end. Right, yeah. And, and that kind of, it's like you broke one of the cardinal rules of murder mysteries. If they had thrown a little bit more in there, and I wonder if they had and it got cut. And that could be. Yeah, that could be. Uh, you know, who knows? Or maybe they didn't realize they were doing So if you watch it, um, don't expect that you're going to figure the killer out, because you won't. No. You, you there are not enough clues to figure it out. No, and, and yeah. then they tell you everything in the last like what two minutes. Yeah, you know, like a little flashback. It's like, oh, here you go. Which now is you cool. Understand. You know, I get yeah. it. At least you know why. But yeah, um, and some things didn't make sense. Just small things, kind of throughout. It's like, yeah. well, why was that really yeah. happening? Like the lighting. The lighting that was a big one for me. Like, okay, I got that they cut the power to the police station, and I even understand why the light was red. Right. That makes sense to me. Why were there green yeah. emergency lights? That does not make sense to me. Other than to make it to make it look Christmassy, Christmassy which is cool, yeah. and, and that I liked it. But I, yeah, for yeah. sure, I see what you're saying. There was a little bit of shaky cam yeah. at the beginning. I hate shaky cam. Me too. And it wasn't horrible. You know, it wasn't like no, but it was enough to be that we noticed it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just like don't do that. So this is a thing for me. It is really hard to throw an axe <laughs> accurately at a non-moving target. Let alone at a scrawny little running blonde who weighs all of like 85 pounds. Right. But no, <laughs> not easy to do. And he just was like, he did it like three, four different times. He's just like, there it goes. And it was like, well, yeah, it just clipped her ankle. And no, yeah. it doesn't work that way. Axes are really hard to throw. A little bit of unrealism there. Yeah. But- and with the axe, I also have to point out 
Some of the Foley effects were weird. Like, whenever he pulled the axe out, it was like, shring! It's not a sword that's in a scabbard that at least makes right. sense that there was metal running on metal. Yeah. He was just holding it. And it's like moving it up. It was like, shring! Shring! <coughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> makes no sense. It's like bleeding out of the mouth for everything. Yeah, you have yeah. a paper cut and you bleed out of the mouth. Yeah. Uh, some of the, the sword stuff was simple and everything was great, but some of it was a little cliche and mm -hmm. tropey. I don't know if tropey is a word. I like it, but it plays the horror tropes, it, which is fine. I, that doesn't fine. bother me, but it is a little cliche at times. Yep. And uh, it, um, there were a couple of parts in there that were slow. Yeah, a few parts that kind of dragged on a little too much. Yeah. Overall, the pacing was fine. The, the, I think. It was kind of like in the middle. There right. was like a 15 minute stretch there where yeah. it was like they could have cut all of this and I would have been fine. They're trying to build up, you yeah. know, and piece of the. Yeah, yeah. If that happened. But overall, yeah, not, not, not really not an horrible. issue. Yeah. Um, there's some a few continuity issues, which you called out on the chalkboard in one scene. Yeah, dude, if you are going to have anything with writing in the background, you make sure it doesn't change when you change the shot. Yeah. Because it radically changed. It, it wasn't like the S is what I pointed out to you was the S kept changing shape and size and location. Right. But like there were lines that would appear and disappear. <laughs> you drive me crazy with this shit. Don't do that. Yeah, that stuff gets. Or just fast. don't put anything up. Yeah. I, mm, yeah. Know, a lot of this is kind of nitpicky because it really it was, was a good, good movie. movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and really, uh, and some characters had no reason to be in there. Yeah. Zero. Yeah. Zero. Uh, the, the mayor. Uh -huh. The mayor's daughter, uh -huh. her boyfriend, uh -huh. and all of the pornographer people that uh -huh. the mayor's daughter went to see. Right. All of them could have been cut. They only existed to add six bodies. Right. <laughs> Which is great. And More some body boobs. Count. And some boobs. And some boobs. Some boobs. I don't know put that so, out there. There were some boobs. It's not a bad thing. It's like a 50-50 thing. Right. It, it's just, it's obvious that those characters were put in to bump up the body count yeah. by six. <laughs> Which I'm all for. But they weren't necessary. Yeah. They, they, the, the movie's nine four minutes. They probably could have cut it down about 15 to 20 minutes. Well, maybe not Cut it down by. Well, we, yeah, yeah, not two fifteen right. or 20 minutes. No, that'd be a very short movie. <laughs> That's what I meant. Not like yeah. Psycho Santa, yeah, you no, know? No. But, uh, no. It, uh, yeah, That's yeah about it. Just, it's just, just like... little nitpicky right. things. Yeah, you know, this movie, I mentioned this to you. This movie reminded me of Fargo. I don't yeah. know if they did this on purpose or not, but there were a lot of little nods where, like, the cap she was wearing or the wood chipper death or right. shit like that. It was like, Fargo! Yeah. Without snow! Or Peter Stormare. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you know, ah, this is a good movie. Yeah. Um, overall, let's it, give you. Um, mm -hmm. um, shout out of the week goes to anybody who dresses up like a Santa for Christmas. Yeah, Brrr, spread the joy. Ho ho ho, motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, they need to do that in a movie. I don't know. I'm sure it's been done. Thanks, Killing for Revenge of Christmas. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> oh shoot, that'd be awesome. Um. So final the, reviews? Final reviews. I Like I said, I watch this every year. I like it. It's a good movie. It's fun. It's got gore boobs. I give it 7 out of 8. Boom. Yeah, yeah I, I liked it a lot. Yeah, it was good. great. First time watch. Yeah, this is the first time I've seen it. I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, I'm going to give it a 6.9 out of 8. <laughs> you dropped it by <laughs> one smidge. Yeah. That's great. The more I thought about it, I, I dropped it by a tenth of a point. Yeah, that's awesome. But that's pretty good. Pretty good. We I still it. really liked it. You should watch yeah, it. We should watch it. You, yeah. We did, we did watch, watch it. it. They should you watch it. You guys should definitely. <laughs> if it's, it's Christmas time, Merry go Christmas, watch it. Merry Christmas, Merry. <laughs> so, on that note, you can head over to... Facebook.com slash Stupid Movies. Or over on the Instagram at Stupid Movies. At, at the Horror, Horror Punk, Punk. At Dr. Sketch Turner. We'll be there. I learned hey. all. I still haven't logged in. <laughs> <laughs> so next week we will continue. Uh, oh, you lost your hat. We will continue our extravaganza. Extravaganza. So until then, stay stupid. Stay stupid. Enjoy Christmas. <laughs>